so we're going to start you with blood work. We're going to get between 100 and 120 biomarkers in blood and urine. You might normally get a few vials of blood drawn by your doctor. We're probably going to do 12 to 15. So pretty extensive. Second, we're going to monitor your sleep with an aura ring. We want to look at not just your sleep there, but also this metrics like heart rate variability, HRV. That's measuring sort of how much stress is in the system, how much sympathetic nervous system activity that's in your fight or flight system. We're going to track body temperature and heart rate at night. And then we're going to get all the subjective variables. You know, if you want more energy, that's a subjective effect. If you want to feel less stressed, you know, I can measure stress hormone levels or proxies thereof with things like HRV, but we also care about how you feel. And, you know, I think sometimes people like, oh, this is subjective, so it's not real. I mean, how you feel subjectively is a pretty big part of your life. So I think it's pretty important. And you can also turn that subjective data into quantitative data by asking somebody, you know, if your goal is, hey, I have these energy dips at 2 p.m., well, at 3 p.m., I want to know your energy levels every day. And that's very easy to collect by app or even text message for people. So we're collecting that data and then we're, you know, adding things like continuous glucose monitoring, you know, as you mentioned, levels, great technology. We're looking at, you know, how do we get a baseline and or identify any challenges via these MRIs, companies like Ezra, which do a great job of that. And I'd say the difference is twofold. One, other companies are going to say, here's your blood work. Here's what we recommend. But if I just see that your fasting glucose or your morning glucose when you haven't eaten is high, that actually may not be a metabolic problem. When you have a, you know, you have this stress hormone dump or cortisol release in the morning that is normal. And that can raise your blood sugar levels. And some people, it raises it more than others. It's called the Dawn effect. And so if that's the case with me, I might have relatively high blood glucose levels in the morning and have no metabolic problems. And I need to go after the stress hormone side instead. So you have to be really careful how you, how you measure that. And there are some other blood markers that can help me evaluate that. But maybe I'm combining it with looking at your HRV. Maybe I'm combining it with the questions you're answering. So again, like integrating the data matters. And then if somebody says, here's your data, here's your program, you end up with a, a different problem, which is maybe my omega-3 levels are low or my vitamin B12 levels are low. But maybe the issue is not that I don't get enough of it. Maybe it's that I'm not absorbing it. Maybe it's that I'm not, or that I'm using it up too quickly. And so again, with without running iterative experiments and you know doing regular retests and designing these experiments, you actually often are treating a symptom and not the, the actual problem. And then the other thing is often, you know, if the blood work says you're either good or bad, if you're good, how do you optimize from there? It doesn't really provide that input. And there you really need to be running these experimental protocols for optimization. So anyways, a long way to say it's not just about having the data, it's about integrating the data, it's about using the data to run experiments. And when we put it all together, that's when you discover unique things about people. I, I think of this client who was having like swelling in his legs. It turns out, comes out that like, mom had varicose veins, dad had hemorrhoid, like there's this history on both sides of the family of vascular issues, blood vessel issues. And so once you, like for that person, when you go after those blood vessel issues that you only know because you had a conversation with them or you know what questions to ask, you have this like dramatic benefit and solve it. And honestly, you know, can't guarantee this, but very likely decreasing long-term cardiovascular risk at the same time.